Right, we are at the studios. We're behind me, there's chaos right now, but we are gonna be creating an internet cafe today. We have our computer screens ready and waiting. I think we'll have a long table here with computer screens and chairs, and then Kevin's table will be here, and there will be a window here with fluorescent lighting, fax, email, something like that. And our camera angle will be from here mostly, and of course through the window. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clear out everything from here. Now these are red and blue carpet squares. I thought it would look funky for an internet cafe to have like red and blue alternating squares on the floor. But I don't know if the shot is gonna be that wide that you see the floor. But we'll see if we use those. Okay, so we have a surface here for our computers, but I'm gonna put this wooden surface on top of that. I'm sure you've all seen many internet cafes using wood for the shop fitting, so we're gonna go with that today. actually have too many of them. I think maybe just four will do. So we can take out one of these and we'll just move them all up a bit. Yeah. We have only four now. I think four looks better than five but I wonder if we shouldn't just have three. These three are left, but we'll need one for Kevin and one next to Kevin. Okay, so now we have another surface here for Kevin. I think we have two computers next to him. And here will be the window and there will be the street. Now Kevin's surface is a little bit lower than the other ones. The reason for that is when he's sitting, I want the computers behind him in the background, like you can see behind my face now. So if you do a close-up on his face, the computers will be behind him in the background, like you can see now. Otherwise they would be too low, just a little bit too low. Right, now we're in a different part of my studio. This is where I keep all the stuff that might come in handy for a shoot. For example, keyboards. Now here's something interesting I might show you. I built this well over a decade ago uh, when laptops did exist but they weren't nearly as popular as they are today. So I still thought I was very clever to come up with the idea of a computer in the form of a briefcase. Now we're gonna just borrow this keyboard for now so that we have enough keyboards for our internet cafe. chairs and some finishing touches and tomorrow we'll set up the lighting for it. Now we'll look at the lighting tomorrow but since there's going to be a window here with fluorescent writing in it, uh, the fluorescent writing is going to be blue and red. So we'll need red light shining from here, blue light from about here and of course we'll have the backlight coming from inside the place. 
And since there's a computer screen in front of Kevin, we'll need a soft white pale light shining from here. But we'll look at that tomorrow. Alright, today we are creating some posters and signs for the walls of our internet cafe. I'm using stock photos. Now, I actually thought I would use stock photos and my own creativity to come up with some posters. But now I see among these stock photos that I already have, I have quite some suitable possibilities here that I can just print out as they are, so that saves us a bit of time. And now I'm putting on my creative hat as next we are going to be designing the exterior for our internet cafe. Just checking my email. Well, here I am in our finished internet cafe. Well, here I am in our finished internet cafe.
wonder how I could forget all this. It seems I had a wonderful life. The first thing that stands out about me is that indeed I did do my share of modeling work. Seems there was a time I was so in demand that I was just about in every second advertisement or magazine article on billboards, web pages and blogs and then some. How did I make it so big? In fact, it appears I was so successful that I dreamt of using my earnings as a model to fund my aspiration to have a career in robotics or something. You, my Jörbot, started out as my fluffy pet, my Jör Blafinski. Oh, my Jörbot, how are we ever going to claim our lives back? Well, it's probably best to become our old selves again, bit by bit. This article, for example, says my favorite book is Snuff Bluffelar Besuk Electuapia. I have a keen interest in pet robots and I live in Liukopkra. First things first, 